Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. This is episode number 27. It's me, Ella. I said that kind of weird. It's a little echoey in here too. I hope that's not picking up on the camera. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a little late. I usually film on Thursdays and upload on Friday mornings, but it's Friday right now, uh, after 10. And, uh, Jesse's not bad. I'm really tired. I probably, I don't know if I look tired. I hope I don't look too bad. But, <laughs> um, Devin's in love right now with both the kids, um, babysitting today. So I'm going to try to film real fast and get it, uh, uploaded before the end of the day. Hopefully. Uh, if not, it'll just be tomorrow, which is fine. My sister is on her way to visit, too, from the town she lives in. So she'll be here in, like, 30 minutes. So i got to keep this out of 30 minutes. <laughs> which is fine, because there's not a whole bunch. But anyways, this is episode 27, which is my lucky number. Um, it is January 19th. I have 18th written down because I would have filmed it yesterday had I not been so busy. But oh well. Let's hop in to finish objects. One was, the first one was one that I almost had done. I had it done crocheted last week. It's really echoey. I hope it's not picking up on camera, but I can hear it bouncing off that wall. Uh, anyways, it's a Sleepy Bear by Jennifer Ol Olivares. It's a free pattern. Uh, I had it all crocheted last week. The only thing I didn't have, well, I didn't have the muzzle, I think. Yeah. I had to make the muzzle, stitch on the mouth, nose, and eyes, which the eyes were pretty difficult. But, um, I finally got them the shape that I wanted them. I made this with a G hook, and the yarn is, uh, Red Heart Super Silver Icelandic. This gray is Mainstays Medium Heather Gray, and then the black is Red Heart Super Silver Black. But, um, yeah, I think he turned out pretty cute. He's been played with a lot already. Jesse and Kat have both played with him. So his ears are kind of folding in, which is fine. Because he's a toy he's meant to be played with. Um, I just, I guess, embroidered the nose and mouth and the eyes. And the eyes, I did it first with just a regular piece of yarn and it they looked wonky. So I took the yarn and I split it, you know, I untwisted it and split it into two pieces of two pieces. What is that? You know, it was this four ply and I split it into two, two plies, I guess. And stitched it on there and they looked much better. I was able to shape them more rounded that way. Because with the thick, the regular four ply yarn, it looked, um, you know, it was real bulky and the, you couldn't really see like the roundness of the eye. It was just lines, you know, it's like a straight line shaped. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I think he looks cute. I think I'm going to make another one of these in like a girlier color and then have a boy and a girl one. I think this would be a really cute baby shower gift, you know, for a baby. <laughs> um, because the, the, Legs and arms and ears, I mean, they're on there really good. You know, a baby would have to be really strong baby to get it off there. But I think it's just a cute little, you know, it'd be cute to set in a baby's nursery or something. Just a little sleepy bear. Set them over there. Uh, yeah, I already said the yarns everything. It is free pattern. It'll be linked below. The next finished object I have is tiny. <laughs> well, it's not tiny, but it's pretty small. And it's just an applique. It's a ladybug applique. I'm mm. making noises. <laughs> Um, excuse me. It is by Amani Amani, I think is how you say it. G Hook, and this is just Red Heart, uh, Red Hot or Hot Red, right? I can't remember. I never can remember that. And then Black. Um, this I made to go on another project later that I'm making for the fair. I'm just gonna solo work. It, it has a lot of appliques on it, so I'm just gonna like randomly do the rent appliques all up until I get to around to putting it all together. But, um, but yeah, it's just a little ladybug. It came out bigger than it was supposed to because the pattern calls for, um, crochet thread and, like, a little tiny hook, and I didn't want to do that, so I just made it with a G-hook and worsted weight, so it came out a little bit big, but it's still cute. And it's not crazy big. It'll still look good on the project that I'm going to be sewing it to. That's my finished objects. Um, I have a few whips, and actually I started one that's not on here. I'll have to get my phone to um, look at its information because I, I just started it and I completely forgot to write it down, I think. Yeah. Let me go to Ravelry real quick. Alright, the battery's low, so if it cuts out I'll, and quality changes is because I'm filming with my phone. <laughs> Alright. Okay, my first whip is my Snowman Sampler Scarf by Heidi Yates. This is a paid-for pattern. I'm making this to enter into the fair. I'm almost done with it. I just have a few more. I had a stitch on the mouths, sew on the button eyes, and make three pom-poms. This is what I got so far. It's one snowman. 
And then there's a second snowman. And the third snowman. He's got a little scarf sticking outside. And then this is the part that goes around your neck. And then the third snowman. The twins is what it calls for in the pattern. He's got little overalls on. I think that's cute. But then this will be two snowmen. And then the last one. I think this is going to be really cute. This is really similar to the reindeer one I made last year. Just snowman. And it's brighter colors. I just I like it. So I'm almost done with that. This will be done. Probably t I might finish it today after Jesse goes to his grandparents. It's living in my candy corn bag. Last time I said candy cane. <laughs> I guess the snowman or something threw me off. Check that over there. Uh, all of that yarn, every bit of it is Red Heart Super Saver. Every color. I don't even know. Just spring green and some kind of blue and white and black and red and orange. Red hot. Just all, it's all Red Heart Super Saver because I'm using stuff out of my stash. It's made with an H hook. Let's see. My next one's here. Alright, last week I had the Honey Blossom Shawl started for the crochet along. And I messed it up again, so I frogged it and moved on. Because <laughs> I'm not going to concentrate on things that drive me crazy. So instead, um, oh darn, I forgot to write down her name. On Instagram I posted that I frogged it, and then one of my viewers, and I'm pretty sure she has a podcast. I can't remember now who it was, but she said that I should start the Lost in Time shawl and do it along with her. So that's what I did. And I'm using Mandala also for it. I was using Mandala Unicorn for the Honey Blossom shawl, but I switched to Genie, just because I really like Genie, and I want to make tank tops out of the unicorn <laughs> for spring and summer. But it is a Lost in Time shawl by Joanna Lindell. It's a free pattern. It was real popular recently. Everybody and their brother was doing it. <laughs> and um, I can't remember what hook I'm using. G hook. This is what I got of it so far. I love the texture of it already because it's got the bubbles and then the the ridge created by front post or back post. I can't remember which one I did now. But uh, this is it so far. It's like a little Barbie doll shawl at the moment. <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be real pretty and I love that it's starting with gray. Because I like that it's going to be dark at the top and then it's going to get lighter and then probably dark again at the bottom. But um, I've only worked on this like twice so it'll probably I think work out pretty fast. Once I sit down and actually work on it. We shall see. I need to find out who that was and message them. Unless they're watching this. I started it with you. <laughs> but it's in my cat bag. I love my cat bag. I love all my bags. Alright, my next. Um, I still work on my secret project. I meant to bring it and show it. I'll insert a picture. I'm going to colorize it so you can't see what color it is. Because I think the color might give away to what it's going to be. A little bit. Um... So I'll insert somewhere around here, and uh, you can see what it is that way. Alright. What's in this bag? Oh, this is my secret project. I did bring it, but I don't know how to, I don't know if I can colorize a video, so I'll just do the picture thing. But it's living in my cardinal bag right now until it gets bigger, because it is afghan. Y'all already know it's going to be afghan, so that's not a big secret. Uh, what's in this bag? This is my Sweet Rolls. I have two of this. This is a Gelato Pop or something like that. Uh, I'm going to make a little baby dress or like a toddler size dress out of this. I just have to find a pattern. That's what I got in mind for it. That's why it's already in a bag. And that will be for the fair. But I won't talk about that right now because I don't even have a pattern in mind. Ooh, my strings are tangled. Alright, good enough. Uh, ooh, I just shook the camera. Yeah, back. I was just making sure that the battery didn't die. Alright, my next web I forgot to write in my book because I just started it last night while watching Little House on Prairie. I'm on season 5 now. I've been binge watching it. Um, and this I just have, I have a bunch of scrap balls of variegated yarn. And so I was trying to find little amigurumis that I could make with it other than just the octopi that everybody else is making. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, I just wanted to do something different. So I found a bunch of patterns, different patterns. I got like 8 saved on my phone for different little monsters and I thought I'd make a bunch of variegated little monsters and maybe make like a button monster or something and so this is the first one that I made or working on making it's called the hug monster and it is by Linda Salat Salant. this is all I got of him so far just his legs and his little body <laughs> I'm starting to decrease his body and his body's also his head it's like one lump and I already got his arms done too let's get them out Here's his little arms. I don't know how they go. <laughs> but I'll sell them on there. This is the 
this is, I, I love this yarn, but I can't remember the colorway. I've had it forever. And I actually had some granny squares made out of it that I was going to make an ugly blanket with, but then I just decided not to do that. So I, I, a couple days ago, me and Jesse ripped out all the squares that I had made and made a bunch of little balls of variegated yarn. And that's what gave me this idea to make little monsters. So, he's going to be cute little. Let me see if I can pull up the picture so you can see about what he's going to look like. And I'm using a G-hook. <laughs> G-hook is very popular for me right now. But this is what he's going to look like. I hope you can see it. It's just a cute little monster. And I could even like double strand it and use a bigger hook and make him come out bigger. And that'd be cool to have like a bigger one. I want to make a button monster like Aaron at um, Gimme Yarn. My neighbors are making noises. Gimme Yarn 148. Is that it? I can't even remember now. <laughs> um, with all kinds of little buttons on it. And I kind of thought he would be, but he's small, obviously. But he's going to be adorable. Or she, because it's kind of a girl color. And it's. I got my stitch marker, one that Hannah sent me. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet is on there. And my little monster is living in my crochet in public bag. I think that's what that's called. I'll try to find the pattern to this and link it below. It's just a really cute little bag that you can wear in your arm while crocheting. And I always just keep little projects in there. Usually like appliques and stuff that, you know, really just one set in projects. But I just stuffed him in there because I don't have any more little bags. I want to make some more little project bags, but my sewing machine is kind of <laughs> right now. I loaned it to my mom, and uh, now it's not working properly. She's going to bring it to me. And I don't know if maybe the tension, you know, maybe one of the kids messed with the knobs or something, so I'm going to mess with it. But it's also three years old, and it was like a cheap, it was like a $70 machine I got at Michael's on my birthday three years ago. So I may just have to get a new sewing machine, which is fine. I need a fancier one anyways. I want one that does like embroidery stuff and all that. That's all of the crochet stuff. I have one acquisition and it's kind of crochet related and it is this. This is polymer clay, the kind that you bake in a cute little box. Ordered this off Amazon. It's 32 different colors and it was like $17 and it comes with some tools and some like things to make earrings and keychains and stuff but um, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Because what I want to do with the clay is I want to try to make some stitch markers, hopefully cute ones, <laughs> and maybe I like work on trying, like learn how to do it on hooks to make um, polymer clay hooks. Because I just thought that would be a fun thing to try to get into. Because it'd be neat, I think, to make stitch markers and then sell them, and plus have a bunch of cute ones for myself and for you know my friends. Because if I can make them, I'll be sending them to everybody that I know because they're adorable. I like this little box it came into. It's such a cute little, little carrying case for clay. But yeah, um, I'll link that below too if anyone's interested. I think it was like $17 and the shipping was free because I used my mom's account because she has Prime. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I'm working away on all these projects trying to get stuff done. I want to finish that scarf hopefully today or tomorrow. And then start on another project for the fair. That's what I'm going to do, I think, is work on one project, get it done, work on the next one. So that I don't overwhelm myself. Um, like last year, I kind of had to, I had a couple months to do everything. So I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. So this year, I'm going to just do it one at a time with that. Baby step it. I've already got a folder on my computer full of patterns that I'd like to make. You know, baby booties, baby dress, hat, and all that stuff. So um, there's just a few more that I need to find patterns for. And uh, I want to make a baby blanket, but I don't know what baby blanket I'm going to make. And then I'm all, in between all that, I'm going to be working on my main afghan for the uh, the grown up, the adult size afghan entry. Which, I'm glad I started it early because it's taking forever. Because right now I'm just doing a bunch of back and forth. And I've already done like 20 rolls and it's like that big. And <laughs> It's not 20 rolls, it's like 12. But it's going to take forever to grow. And it needs to be a certain length. So, um, I'm glad I started on it soon. Or early. But, um... Yeah, life updates. I don't think there's many life updates other than I'm tired because Jesse has been sleeping really bad and he's cutting his canines, which I've been saying that like three weeks, but two of them's actually poked through. Let's see here. It's this side. The top one and bottom are both sticking out just a little bitty bit and you can see the bumps on, you know, where they're right under the skin. So I think that's one reason he's sleeping bad. Another reason might be because he's transitioned into a big boy bed. 
which uh, anyone on the Facebook group or on my Facebook or yeah I didn't talk about Instagram would have seen that and um, I might insert a picture he's doing good he's sleeping in it just like he did his crib just I have put a baby gate up at his door now so that if he wakes up he can't leave his room and he has woken up a few times and been at that gate holding on to it, hollering for me which is cute but um, I'm really hoping I got him in, out of the crib and into a bed so now I want to work on getting rid of the bottle but I'm going to do that slowly because I don't want to force it and like traumatize him so um, he does really good with sippy cups during the day and actual cups I've been teaching him to use actual cups without spilling it um, so now it's just getting him off the bottle the only thing he drinks out of a bottle is milk and I only let him drink it when he's gone down for his naps or to go night night unless he's having like a major terrible twos whatever they're called rather tantrum <laughs> then I will give him milk and you know deliver him but I'm trying to be more strict with you know keeping that in the bedroom so that he's you know he doesn't associate it with just every day you know but I know that he's supposed to go to sleep on a bottle so I don't know it's just hard <laughs> It's hard, and this is my first time parenting, so I know I'm probably messing it up one way or another, but, um, he has fallen asleep in his bed a few times without being rocked, just, you know, laying there, drinking milk, but, um, with me in the room. I'll either be sitting in the bed with him or in the chair, messing around on my phone or whatever, and he has fallen asleep a few times, so I guess that's a good step that he's not having to be rocked, but, um, I don't know, it's just, it's hard to figure this stuff out when you've never experienced any of it. I know if we ever do have another kid, it'll be so much easier because we'll already know how to do everything, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only life updates I have. I can't think of anything else. There's still snow on the ground. It's almost all melted, but it's still cold. I think it's supposed to be in, like, the 60s tomorrow, though, so it should all melt, hopefully. And, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because i got to edit this and get it uploading. And, plus, I'm, I've got company on the way, so i got to hurry up and go greet them. But, um, I'll see you guys next Friday for sure. Um, for the next crochet talk, I've got a, I need to do that crochet tag video I keep putting off. I'll, I might film that tonight and upload it in a few days. And then I have a couple of ideas for more, um, Ravelry, uh, what are they called? Tutorials. Because, you know, I keep encountering people who don't know how to do certain things in Ravelry, so I thought it would be nice to just make a bunch of videos on how to do it. And then if I, you know, come into that again, I can just refer them to, um, to that <laughs> I don't know but yeah um, I might film some of those tonight I don't know it all depends Jesse's going to his grandparents tonight uh, to spend the night and then Saturday he's going with them again to go to some birthday parties for little kids you know that they know they like taking him with them to stuff like that and then uh, I think m Monday or Tuesday my mom's going to watch him so I'll have plenty of days coming up that I can have time to film so hopefully I'll get some more videos up and going <laughs> and um I know a lot of people like the vlogs, so I'd like to maybe do some more vlogs. Okay, my battery did die. It's exhausted. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh, right there. Battery exhausted. <laughs> I could have sworn I feel, or, um, charged it, but I guess not. But, anyways, I was saying, I was talking about vlogs. And, uh, I want to start doing some more vlogs. Just because I know some of y'all like watching them, and I like being able to look back on them. I don't know if it filmed that, so I'm saying it again. I'm repeating myself. But I'm going to go ahead and go back into the living room and clean it up a little bit before my sister gets here and um entertain company <laughs> so i'll see you guys for sure next friday and probably in between on some i need to do a tag video and maybe a tutorial so we will see but i will see you guys for sure next uh friday which is what the 26th um oh my god it's already the 26th <laughs> almost well you know it's week right but still <laughs> um my links are all below i will link all the patterns and the pattern for this bag if i can find it it should be on my rivalry and the clay and uh, my Instagram, my Facebook group, my Ravelry group, and my Ravelry page will all be linked below. So check them out if you're interested. Uh, the group is pretty active. The Facebook group is pretty active. And I've been sharing a lot of pattern codes and stuff there. So if you want some free patterns, go check it out. <laughs> and join and I will, uh, what is it called? Approve your request immediately because I always have my phone on me and it buzzes when someone asks to join so unless I'm asleep it'll be immediately <laughs> so anyways I'll see you guys next week Bye. it's snow
<laughs> you touching it? Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Snowy, you gonna find a car? Maybe. Dude! <laughs> that got down my pants. That's right. Uh, Which pants? The first one or the second? Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that on skin. That failed. <laughs> <laughs>